I'm beginning my 42nd year. To the students seem to me very similar to the students that have come all along. Uh, I always think about how as admissions officers come and go, the quality of the students seems to remain the same. But I'm fascinated this semester, 25%, almost 25% of our student body are legacies. And so no wonder the people are similar because in some sense they're the next generation of their parents whom I taught. So I'm in my freshman class right now. I have four people whose fathers and mothers in one case I've taught. And uh, um, so the student body, it seems to me, is a kind of constant. And, uh, and their relationship with us is, is so wonderful. And perhaps it's the isolation of the mountain that makes that possible. I don't know. Uh, when I'm with other groups of students from other campuses, I'm always amazed at how Swanee students are so quick to speak up and so relaxed uh, with their professors and, and older people. On the British Studies program in Oxford, uh, one of the lecturers asked me, why is that? Why do the, your students seem to come up and approach us when others don't? And why are they so conversant? I said, well, that's all we have is one another up there. Uh, uh, you know, there's not a lot of fern bars or other forms of entertainment to distract us. And so we talk to each other and entertain each other. And uh, I love that. That gives a breadth and a depth to your teaching. And it also allows you, and I think more and more of this as I grow older, to create relationships that go on a lifetime. You know, uh, it's not, graduation doesn't end anything in Swanee. And uh, now that my own children are grown and raised and away, having other people's children in my life is wonderful. The English department also has been a, a constant. Uh, we, I think when I came here, I was so proud of the colleagues that uh, I had joined. Uh, Andrew Lytle, uh, Alan Tate, Charles Harrison, the smartest man I ever knew, was chairman of the department. Brindley Reese, who was my great friend and a kind of surrogate father. My father died the first year I came to Swanee. And uh, Brindley sort of in my imagination at least, moved into that role. And uh, we used to have lunch and sherry uh, uh, once a week and uh, talk about all the things that he'd read that I hadn't. And uh, that, that was wonderful. Uh, so that's, that's been a good, a wonderful thing. And I think right to this day, we've maintained that tradition of civility in, in, in our department and uh, a feeling that we're involved in a common cause and approaching it from a common point of view. And I don't know what you know about English departments, but that's a very rare kind of experience. How many people do you know uh, who are 69 years old who can ride their bike conveniently and comfortably to almost every appointment that they have, including to work every morning? So that's, that's a one nice feature. I feel like Sometimes when I'm coming to work, this is a movie set, and it's not real. I mean, everything is pretty manicured. Uh, I'm coming to a job that I really enjoy, and that it, it is uh, like a movie. One of the things I do is every Saturday, Mr. Croom and I go to the Valley, and I shop at Walmart so that I will be sure that I have my roots in 21st century reality. Uh, but then I quickly leave and come back and spend most of the week here. Well, one, one of the things I recently learned from one of my former students uh, pleased me so because he and his friends in the, in the class of 86 were always so big on poetry and the poetry that we read in class. And uh, the student's name is Stuart Thomas, and he has a photographic memory, or nearly. But uh, he was talking about another of his classmates, who was also my student. And they went on a recent camping trip in uh, Colorado, and they were rained out on one day, and they were in their tent reading aloud various poems that they had first learned and met in Swanee. And I was delighted to hear about that incident because the enthusiasm that I vividly recall them demonstrating 
in their undergraduate years is still going on now. Stuart, I guess, is 50 or 40, yeah, 50, and Dan the same. And there they are, still being able to uh, enjoy themselves in, in that way. You talk about the value of a liberal arts education. There are lots of other ways of talking about it, but to be able to be in a tent in the rain out camping and enjoying what you learn to enjoy here is definitely a benefit.